This is the best course on GraphQL you will find on internet. The reason is because in this course, you not just watch videos, unlike YouTube or Udemy or any other video course, but you actually build applications in GraphQL as you are learning about them. Let me show you how. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. A traditional YouTube or Udemy course looks like the following where you just endlessly keep on playing videos and thinking that you're understanding something, but do you really understand that? That is something you realize when you start building your own projects and then you are stuck. In this course, let me just show you how this works. So the course is Learn GraphQL, Complete GraphQL Interactive Course for Beginners. And this is part of CodeDamp's full stack learning path over here. You can also see this resides in the Node.js, MongoDB and GraphQL APIs section. So this course over here is a great course to start working with GraphQL in that particular full stack learning path order. And the reason, like I discussed, is that let's say you have learned about types and queries through a video in this course. The next thing you have to do is practice this concept over here. So you can see this is a very simple first time query where you have supplied the URL and then the course author asks you to try and run this query over here. So when you have the URL for a GraphQL endpoint, you run the query, it pretty much works just fine. So this is awesome. As a first time experience, you can see that you are able to select and unselect fields just by removing or adding fields over here super important as a beginner when you're learning because you want to have that aha moment you want to have that playground of interactivity to mess around with stuff but not only this as you proceed and progress forward for example when you come to the mutation section you will also have the ability to build your own mutations and work in a real world environment this is something you will never really find in a video based course because those courses don't give you a full-blown playground like experience to install and work with a real development environment. Over here, you can see that you have to add a new email field to the update email input, which is like, you know, a type definition in React. So you have to like work your way towards these challenges. And trust me, this gets really, really immersive when you're trying to complete this course. And when you're trying to solve these challenges, you try to run the test, you see the output in the console, it really, solidifies your learning as a developer. You have multiple such labs in this course where you would not be just working with GraphQL, but at by the end, you can see you are also working with the React frontend and GraphQL backend. So you can see you spin up a couple of terminals just like you would do on a local system. Frontend is running on the left, backend is running on the right, or maybe I just got it wrong in a sense but and if you think this is just a simple input output system and you won't be able to learn much remember that further down the line in the course there will be multiple labs involving both react as the front end and graphql as the back end running just like this in a couple of terminals right inside your browser where you have to code react stuff and graphql stuff simultaneously inside client and server folders right so we are making sure that you are not fooling yourself when you're trying to learn a concept and you're able to complete these stuff in the best way possible. And last but not the least, if labs and exercises with alongside the video based learning wasn't enough, at the end, you also have a capstone project to complete where you have to build a Pinterest like clone again, right inside CodeDamp's IDE. You can just start, you can just continue building this. And what it will do is it's kind of like a take home assignment where you do have the instructions on what you have to build. So you can see over here, if you open the readme, you will have all the instructions, what needs to be done. You have the basic boilerplate for the project set up for you, which enables you to not waste a lot of time setting up the wrong stuff. And you can just get started with setting up your database, your Apollo server, your front end and start learning and start coding, right? So. This capstone project of the course would be like a final mark that you have completed all the things. And once you do that, you also get a certificate of completion, which is awesome. But the main part is that this course is a part of CodeDAM's full stack learning path, which enables you to become a full stack developer by going into a set sequence of courses. Now, I would also like to introduce Pedro real quick over here, who will answer your few questions, which I know you will be asking in the comment section below.
Hello everyone, my name is Pedro. I am the owner of the Pedro Tech YouTube channel where I teach everything from um, basic stuff to full stack web development. And I'm really excited to bring this um, new course where I'm gonna teach you guys how to build um, anything you want using GraphQL as your as a technology. This will be a beginner's course, so you won't need to know anything related to GraphQL before doing the course. And I will teach you guys everything you need to know in order to become a, a full stack GraphQL developer in the industry. Well, I feel like when deciding which technologies you want to learn, it is very important that you take into consideration what the big players in the industry are using. Um, and GraphQL is definitely one of the technologies that most big companies are at least transitioning towards since um, it allows for more scalable applications um, without having to deal with all of the issues related to REST APIs. So I feel like learning GraphQL might not be required in some job postings, for example. However, it is definitely an asset and a skill that will make you stand out um, against other competitors who are also trying to get the same roles. So I feel like it's important, it is very important because it will definitely get you um, where you want to be as a full stack developer. Well, I believe that there's two main reasons why this course may differ from other resources you might find online um, for learning GraphQL. The first one is that um, it get, we give you a very clear path um, of what you need to follow in order to actually understand everything from the basics towards um, more complicated stuff. And they were tested out by me since I, I went from not knowing anything about the technology to using it in real world applications and uh, in the, the industry. So I feel like that really um, stands out um, in comparison to other resources. And also not to mention the fact that we provide um, practice problems and quizzes throughout the course. So um, in many different videos that I, I, I have in the course, um, I'll, I'll mention something and I'll teach you guys something. And right after you'll have to complete a lab that really um, tests out your knowledge on what I just taught you. Also, you will be able to run those examples and see if your code works or not so that you really fortify the knowledge you just gained by immediately practicing what you just learned. And if we're dealing with, with topics that are more um, theoretical instead of um, topics that are practical, uh, there is also quizzes which um, you, can, you can participate and it will tell you if you got your answer right or wrong. So throughout the whole process, you will be practicing what you learned, which will um, definitely be very beneficial. And at the end, you will be able to practice everything you learned by building a capstone project which is modeled um, based on a project that I built myself and I put on my resume and it will just test out every single thing you learned. And at the end, if you actually are able to build that project, you can definitely call yourself as someone who um, knows GraphQL and is experienced in the technology. If you're watching till the end, I'm gonna post a link in the description which gives you CodeDamn Pro membership at a 50% discount. That means you're gonna not see this 999 or $20, but actually $10 per month or the half of this rupees price in INR. Just for the launch of this course, it is valid for the next few days only with a limited number of people. The days is five and the number of people is 50. So if you are one of the 50 people who enrolls using that link into CodeDamp Pro membership, you get 50% off on the membership, which enables you this course plus pretty much every other course on the platform as well. It's like a huge launch discount you can think of, but like I'm, I'm really hopeful and I'm really confident that a course like this, more courses, more interactive courses, which we enroll and roll out would really, really push people forward and make programming less scary as well as more fun to learn. So that is all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the discount link for pro membership on the launch of this course. The links are in the description. The course link is also in the description. Make sure you upgrade fast and enroll in the course fast because the coupon code is also limited in terms of date and redemptions. That is all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.